All right. How y'all doing? Y'all good? We'll take questions. First question here in the uh, third row, second in, on two. No, no, no. Hi, uh, Davide Chinellato, Gazzetta Italy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, can, you, can you tell us about the last dunk, the one you pay homage to Vince Carter? And it was uh, over, as you said. Um, you know, um, I've grown up, I was a big dunker. You know, I wasn't really much of a basketball player. I just dunked and played defense. Mm -hmm. And I watched a lot of Vince's uh, videos. And um, I've been seeing what he's been doing all year at, at his age, which is incredible. So, you know, I, I thought, I figured, you know, at my size, you know, if I, if I was able to, to get it, um, it, would be, it would be a great dunk, a way to finish it, you know. And um, actually, the funny story is I haven't made that dunk in like half a year. Um, I tried it in practice uh, the past two days and tried it this morning, didn't make it. Tried it last night, didn't make it. So um, to be able to, uh, to, or two nights ago, excuse me, but to, to be able to, to make it was, was why I was so excited. Back here on the left side. Donovan, you went with uh, Dr. Duncan Stein mm -hmm. as well as the Vince Carter dunk. How important is it to you to be a student of the game? Um, you know, just knowing, knowing your history, I think, is the biggest thing. You know, um, just understanding where this game originated. You know, the, 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 I guess the OGs of, of the game, I guess you'll call it. But, you know, just understanding, even if it's just dunking, you know, whether it's dunking and in, in NBA in general. You know, Daryl Griffith, we went to the same school uh, in, in college. You know, I know Daryl uh, very well. And um, we both, both got drafted by the Jazz, and he was an incredible player. And um, to be able to pay homage to, to him was meant a lot to me. Standing here on the left side. How much uh, preparation went into this contest for you? And then once you got out there, how much did you have to improvise? Um, so believe it or not, I've been preparing, this for, for preparing for this since I was a kid. You know, what am I, what am I going to do? Um, but... Um, I didn't know I'd have I'd be able to jump this high, so it kind of added a little few more tricks. But you know, I've, the first one I've been doing that since high school. It just acted as if there's a wall behind the basket. Um, the second one, you know, I missed the first dunk, which is my original dunk, and I switched it up, you know, and brought my sister Kevin Hart and, and his son out there just just uh, to just for fun, you know, just have fun. And he, I'm glad that he I'm, I'm I'm honored that he helped me out. You know, he's one of my favorite comedians and. Um, the third one was supposed to be my second dunk, the one that I, the one that I missed. But I, I figure, you know, if I if I do it again, I gotta I gotta punch it home. And then obviously the last one um, was probably one of my favorites. Dan over here, Donovan, Dan YQ with the LA Times. Uh, can you kind of just talk us through sort of the, the overall? You you'd said that this is something you've wanted to do from a little kid. What what kind of dunker were you like earlier in your life? When did you first dunk? And and kind of what was that process to get to tonight? Uh, my first dunk was in the seventh grade outside of the park in Harlem. Um, and the funny thing is that I had AU teammates, and we all three of us dunked for the first time on the same day. Uh, so that was a pretty exciting experience. My first dunk in the game was in the eighth grade uh, at Greenwich Country Day School. And, um, you know, from there, you know, I just fell in love with it. You know, I always used to lower the rims. You know, everybody used to go on low rims and try and do crazy stuff on it. And it came to a point where the stuff I was doing on the low rims, I was able to do on 10-foot rims. And then from there, it was like, all right, now I'm going to start watching guys. Like, I watched Aaron Gordon's highlights in high school in class. And I shouldn't say that. But, <laughs> like, uh, like, that, like, that was oh, – he was one of my, one of my favorite high, high school dunkers, Zach Levine as well. And so um, to be out there and be, and be in the same competition as those guys and, and to win it was, is incredible. Were there any other dunks tonight that really impressed you? Uh, Larry's was nice. I didn't know he did it twice off the backboard. I thought he just did it once, and it was the fact that he did it twice it just shows. And for a guy that height, you know, people are easy to say, oh, it's easy for him to dunk. You know, it's the fact that he was bringing the ball to his feet was, was impressive, and um, he paid homage to his dad. You know, Vic had a nice one. I really wish he would have gotten the first one, though, because I was really excited. And um, I've seen Dennis dunk since high school, so I knew he, I, I've seen the dunks, but he just got a little higher tonight uh, because of the, the atmosphere. Standing on your right. Uh, Gil Barak, Sports 5, uh, Channel 5. Oh, He's right. Hi. Uh, at, one point of, at what point of the day or the competition did you know that you were going to take it all the way? That you're gonna after win I it? made the dunk. Yeah, just the after one. the last yeah, one? Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to win, to be honest with you. If you ask anybody around me, I was like, yeah, it's fun to participate. Like, that, was my, that was my thing. Like, it's just fun to, fun to be in it. I didn't think this was, was going to happen. You know, I, uh, a lot of, maybe y'all don't know, like, I didn't think any of this was, was going to happen. So the fact that any of this is happening is, is incredible to me. And I'm, I'm just enjoying this, this it's whirlwind. A, it's I'm not something that you feel throughout the day, like, I'm gonna, this is my day? 
No, not no. at all. Because I, I see the thing is, I knew I knew how high some of these guys jumped, and I said if they make their dunks, it was all about makes or misses, you know. At that point, you right. know, and it was just a, a matter of finding out at that time. You know, there was real no. It's not like you can say, all right, I'm going to make every shot. You know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to. Uh, he's not scoring on me. It's a little different with dunks. You know, you got to right. wait until the moment happens to figure out. You know, all right, I might have a shot. You know, when I'm back there changing and then the guys start missing dunks, then you start to think, all right, I got to make this, and then that's it. Fourth row on the left side here. Hey, right here. No. Valencia King out of Dallas BC TV. It might be too early to set in, but you're obviously a student of the game, so paying homage to Vince Carter. What do you say to possible young players paying homage to you 20 years down the line? Um, you know, hopefully I've been in the league long enough, like, like Vince has, to leave an impact like, like, like he has. Um, my biggest thing is just staying humble. Um, you know, the big thing that a lot of like a lot of my, my parents and, and um, people of the older generation say, like, you know, young kids nowadays, we – we feel entitled, you know, we feel like, you know, we deserve everything that we have, and that's not the case, you know. You look at injuries that happened this whole year, you know, this can be taken away in a matter of seconds. You know, you could have a great day, you know, and then it could, it could be taken away. So you got to approach it every day like this is your last day. You got to go out there and just and, and, and work your butt off, you know, because like I said, this isn't promised. You know, like I tell people, like, I didn't expect any of this to happen because, you know, I, I was a kid who couldn't shoot, couldn't, couldn't do anything, and it just continued to work. And, you know, I didn't really let the high school rankings, the, the being top five in the draft. Like, you know, that didn't let any of that affect me. Just going out there and just, you know, taking it day by day. And if you continue to learn, you know, learning's uh, underrated for kids nowadays. You know, kids don't like to learn. They like to just do. And that's where the mistakes come. You know, just starting to learn and, and being able to, to understand that that's part of the process. Thank you. Thank you. In the back. Speedy from Complex right here. Uh, was there one of those guys out there that you wanted to go head-to-head -head with Dennis. in the finals? Dennis, Why sure. Dennis? Because I, I, I've been I've – lost, I've lost dunk contests to him and Derek Jones in high school uh, a bunch, so I wanted to try and at least have a chance to go up against him. But um, unfortunately, he missed a few dunks. But like I said, I've been watching him dunk for a while, and um, it was pretty cool to be out there with him again. Did you have another dunk if the dunk contest went one more round? No. <laughs> so that was it for you? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Standing on the right. Donovan, Nabate Al, Sirius XM, NBA Radio. Wanted to ask you, um, like you were talking about the visualization of, you know, coming up, not thinking about being a top 10 pick. This rookie year has been magnif magnificent for you, and it's really, you're gaining more and more confidence and more assertiveness. So talk about, like, did you visualize this a year ago, you know, in your preparation and working hard for the draft, especially being under Coach Rick Pitino, did mm -hmm. he give you that confidence as well? He gave me the confidence, you know, to, to start shooting, you know, to start shooting without having fear. Uh, there was a time where my freshman year I shot 25% from the field, you know, and teams were letting me shoot. Like, like oh, go ahead, you know, airball this, airball that, you know. And there comes a point in time where you, you just get tired of hearing it. As a competitor, I got, just got tired of hearing it. Like, you got tired of hearing, oh, you can't shoot. You know, and uh, people who, like, who play basketball, like, they understand that's one of the most disrespectful things if a guy just sags off you. Like, it's, it's not, like, a, a good thing. So I wanted, you know, you're going to guard me. Like, that was my mindset. And with him, you know, he gave me, Coach P, he gave me the, the, the mindset of I, I, I can shoot, you know. And, no, I didn't think I'd be, get, my shooting would get me to this point. But, you know, I just prepared, like, you know, like I was going against all the guys that wanted me to shoot. And, like, all right, fine, you guys are going to pay eventually. And um, that's, been my, that's been my preparation uh, ever since then. And one more question, the elbow dunk. Did you think about doing that? Yeah, <laughs> but I saw what happened to Blake that one year where he had all those scars on his arm. Uh, so I was like, I'm not 6'10", and if that's happening to him and he's 6'10", I might, one, I might slip off, you know, and you never know. So I just wanted to be careful. Thanks. Jerome here in the front. Uh, Junkyard from CBN. Good to, uh, congratulations, Donovan, you. on your win. Thank you. Uh, my question is this. Now, you go by different monikers. You got the Spider. You also got Dr. Duncanstein. What is your favorite uh, nickname? Spider, for, for sure. Dr. Duncanstein is for Daryl Griffith and Daryl Griffith only. That's, that's his name, and uh, I, I prefer Spider for sure. On the right side. Uh, Donovan, your team's won 11 games in a row. Uh, you had a 40-point game. You had a big fourth quarter against San Antonio. Now you win the dunk contest. Can you just describe what this last month has been like? No, a whirlwind. You know, honestly, this has been a fun month. You know, it started with, you know, Ricky's play. You know, Rudy returned, and then Ricky came out. Uh, the streak I'm talking about, uh, the Ricky just came out, you know, averaging like 28, 6, and 7 and for his first four games before he got hurt. And um, he really set the tone with that streak. You know, he came in. He was a different – I call him a different Ricky. Like, he, he came in. He was more vocal, uh, locked in. He wasn't smiling as much. Like, he looked like he looked real, real serious and just completely changed. And I think we all kind of fed off of that. 
And um, we've all just – the one thing about our team is you can't tell if we're on 11-game winning streak or 11-game losing streak. Like, we're always happy. We're always happy to be around each other. And that's not always the case in the NBA. I'm starting, I'm starting to figure out. Like, you know, we enjoy each other's company on and off the floor, and that builds trust and, on, and, uh, and you know, you have faith in, 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 your, in your teammates on the court once you start to build that chemistry off the court. And, yeah, this month has been insane. <laughs> Rachel over here on the left. As someone who's clearly completely impartial, how do you think this win should influence the rookie of the year race? Uh, not at all. Um, <laughs> not at all. I don't think this should this should influence it at all. I think, you know, it's a great award and I'm, I'm very honored and happy to have it. But, you know, I think rookie of the year is just based on one, how your team does, how you impact the team. And, um, and I wouldn't say necessarily statistics There's a lot more to it to, to it than that. But, you know, I don't think that the slam dunk contest should should. I mean, if it does, that'd be cool but like, um, I don't think it I don't think it's your personally what uh, Donovan uh, was it your idea to include Jordan or was it Jordan's idea to be included? it was my idea she she didn't like it at first though she didn't because I've never uh, jumped over her uh, but I've jumped over people taller than her so I was like I could definitely jump over you no, no problem and she didn't feel comfortable with it so I was like you know it just kind of screws down a little bit if you feel comfortable doing that and um, and then it was my idea to add uh, Kevin Hart in, in there but yeah, she was uh, she was very nervous during during the practices and all that, but I'm glad she was there for me. Uh, and just follow up, uh, you know, why was it important to you to to make sure Jordan was included? Um, you know, for going up, you know, she's been to to so many games, she's missed so many parties with friends, you know, and it's it's tough, you know, sometimes being a popular athlete sibling. You know, a lot of people don't know that. Like she she she's been through. She's sat in the car for hours while I've had games. She's uh she's done a lot, and I'm getting kind of emotional just. Um, just saying all this, but yeah, she's she, my man, Larry. <laughs> um, but yeah, she she's a she's a trooper. She's she's been the, she's driven in the car 14 hours with my mom to Louisville, and watched the game, and then drove back um, the same night. You know, and to have a sister that's dedicated to doing that, you know, to bring her out here uh, for All Star Weekend. You know, she met Gabrielle Union. She freaked out. She we took a picture of all of them Beckham, and all she does is show me videos of that guy. Like for real, like that's all she does. Like, did you see him do this? See him do that? Like you know. So for her to be out here and see all this, I'm glad I could give this to her and and kind of have her part of it. And her followers will go up too. So I think she'll be happy about that. Standing in the back left. Since uh, most of us are unable to dunk, can you <laughs> describe the feeling you get when you're flying through midair and slamming the ball through the basket? Um, <laughs> Uh, I think it's two different feelings. You know, in the dunk contest, you're only focused on, like, I need to make this. Like, I think it's different. Like, in the, in the game, obviously you need to make the two points. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's okay to miss dunks. But, you know, you're just focused on, like, just power dunking. You know, in the con dunk contest, you get to a certain point where the adrenaline's there, so you're not worried about your leg. It's more so the concentration. And um, if you ever look at my face, I kind of bite my lip and, like, you, like, look real, like, either really happy or, like, really angry. You know, and it's just me just – trying to dunk the ball as hard as I can. And my, my vein is, is throbbing right now, to be honest with you. But uh, I just try and dunk as hard as I can because being my height, you know, it's, it's not normal. You see guys, you know, kind of dunk as hard as I do. Back right. Don, what's up, man? Those Would you be in a, you know, a dunk fanatic that you are, you know, watching all the past, you know, slam dunk winners? What do you feel like it's done for, you know, watching the careers or what happened once they won a dunk contest? Um... You know, it, there's cases where it's propelled guys. You know, there there are some guys, you know, who are just really, really good dunkers. You know, but one of my favorites is, is Gerald Green, you know, outside of Vince Carter, obviously. You know, look at Michael Jordan's won it, Dominique's won it. But Gerald Green is one of my favorites, and look at what he's doing in Houston. You know, it's just it's just a matter of uh, how you how you take it. You know, I, I think, you know, it definitely builds a lot of hype around your name. But, you know, I'm going to continue being the same kid that, to be honest, a lot of y'all didn't know coming going to Utah. Like I'm gonna be honest, like you know, I'm gonna keep being, keep being that kid. You know, despite being a slam dunk champion, I'm still the the same 13th draft pick that got drafted to Utah, and we're still gonna be the same team that's hopefully on a multiple game, continuing the multiple game winning streak. But you know, I think the biggest thing is not letting this get, get to here and just continuing to stay grounded and, and stay even Q. Last question in the back. Donovan, in your first season with the Utah Jazz, who has been the biggest mentor for you? What player? Um, I think it change. I think it's. It doesn't say it changes. I think it depends. You know, on offense or, or defense. You know, defensively, I asked Thabo Sefalosi probably a million questions. You know, growing up, I watched a big LeBron fan, obviously, and he gave LeBron fits when they played in the finals. You know, he's he's played with Kevin Durant, played with Westbrook, seen guys prepare. 
uh, seeing guys work, you know, so I ask him a thousand questions about everything. You know, I ask him, what did, what does this, what does he eat? Or how does he stretch? You know, after a long road trip, how does he do this? And I think he's been one of the biggest life uh, kind of advisors for me, just kind of figuring out. And I ask him, and the good thing with that is like he never gets annoyed of it. You know, it'd be, it could be something little as, uh, why can't I eat P.F. Chang's night before a game? Like, you know, like something like that, you know, and he'll give me his input, you know, and be like, man, there was one time I had McDonald's before a game and it was the worst decision in my life, you know. Um, and then offensively, I think being next to Ricky has helped me a lot. You know, I've been trying to become a better passer. I think one of my things, you know, and obviously he's he's one of the best. You know, he throws behind the back passes for no reason and they're right on target, you know. So uh, I'm like, I, I in, the, uh, in the Rising Stars game, I told him I'm just trying to be like you, just trying to get 15 assists. Unfortunately, I didn't get that, but. Uh, it just depends, you know, and Joe Ingles obviously has been big for my confidence down the stretch. You know, I've been shooting the ball. I haven't been shooting the ball pretty well. And uh, in fourth quarter, she looks at me, fourth quarter, she looks at me and goes like, all right, it's time. Like, whatever happened in the first three quarters, uh, it's over with. Like, this is this is the time and the go. And when you have teammates like that that are receptive and, and listen and, and allow you to ask questions as a rookie and aren't, don't feel threatened, I guess, I think that's that's the biggest thing. And, you know, in the league, there, there are guys who, oh, you play the same position as me. I'm not going to answer anything like that, you know. But the, the team that we have is not like that at all. We all want success for each other, and um, I think it's, it's great to have teammates like that. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you, guys. This concludes the session for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.